Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, we are a little bit in a different environment and sorry for my appearance. I literally woke up like an hour ago and I thought I'd film the room makeup tour in the morning um, before I kind of get started throughout my day. Um, I'm currently in my makeup room and this is right in front of my window. Normally I never uh, film in front of my window just because I don't really like setting up backdrops because I use a wall as my backdrop. I guess without further ado, let's get started with the whole tour. So I don't even know where to start. I think I'm just gonna kind of like go in through the front door. So this room technically doesn't even have a door because it's like a bonus room that I use just as my makeup room. Um, so like this used to be like our TV room where we would watch TV and just hang out with like as younger kids and just play. Um, so I have these like curtains things that kind of like close the makeup room um, for like privacy. I mean, I don't really use them, but it's kind of cool just to have them. So right when you walk in, I have a couch here in a closet here. Don't mind this. I have a steamer. That's my mom's that I steam my backdrops. Um, so you can come in. Um, there's my window with my table and chair, my coffee, all my makeup brushes, my mirror. That's where I normally do my makeup in the mornings or like even just before going throughout my day. I like to do my makeup right in a natural lighting just because I feel like it looks best. I have this like little swivel chair. I normally use this actually on my clients that come in to do makeup. I use this chair for them just because it raises up and goes lower. And for me, it's a little too high because I'm pretty tall. Got my laptop, my coffee. Um, I have my little mirror, uh, my brushes. I do have a little clip on how I spray painted all these um, mason jars with these little glass jars. Then I just have a candle with my little jar of Q-tips. And that's the outside. Next up is we have my closet. So um, I got this one at Ikea. And it's like one side mirror, one not. I used to actually store all my clothes in here, but I kind of changed it up. I noticed I got rid of a lot of my clothes. And so a lot of my clothes fit in my other closet in my room. So I use this actually as like a little storage for some of my makeup and other stuff. So I have two drawers down below that I'll show you and open up in just a minute. Then I have stuff that I keep here. I have a few items here that don't really bug me, so I kind of hang up. I also have my backdrops that I just kind of hang up here, my weaves. <laughs> um, up there, just other storage stuff that looks clean and kind of put away in those bins. Um, so they don't really bother me either. But I'll kind of show you how the bottom here works. So I feel like originally this is for shoes, but what I did was I went to Walmart and I bought a bunch of these like little plastic boxes um, that kind of organize all my makeup and they're like 80 something cents or 90 something cents which is really cheap it's better than if you were to go to like the dollar store or something like that so I guess we'll start from the bottom so right here I just have a bunch of my Too Faced uh, foundations in here that I put away here I have all my blushes my bronzers my mascaras my liners other eyeliners these are like shadow primers and like glitter glues here's like one of my um, most I guess used palettes I kind of put in here because I open up this drawer a lot so I put all my like most used palettes in here I use these palettes a lot which has a bunch of makeup geek and motive eyeshadows and I had a bunch of motive eyeshadows that I had to store so I bought this little Z palette with my Morphe and a bunch of other good stuff and then these are all my highlighters that I put away um, these are not all my eyeshadow palettes I have another bin that I put them at but I'll show you guys those later then at the top I just had space here for my makeup remover I have an empty bin that I don't know what I'm gonna put in yet but it's gonna be definitely gonna need it sometime soon I have all my concealers here all my setting powders here extra foundations here a bunch of single eyeshadows honestly I kind of wish all makeup brands came out with single eyeshadows that popped out of these little containers so we can put them in like a customizable Z palette which would be so convenient but it is what it is liquid highlighters or like face illuminators a bunch of these like 
brushes. I just put them in there because I just feel like it looks really messy in like actual containers. Up here, I have a bin full of lipsticks. I honestly um, had not enough big enough bin to store them, so I just put them in this big white bin. Um, I have a few skincare products in here, all my brush dryers here. I got these plastic little drawers at the container store. I actually went there and caught them at a good time. I got these all on sale, so they were actually pretty affordable, but it's nice because they slide out, they're clear, you can kind of see what's in what. So these are my Urban Decay BB creams with my Smashbox. Studio shaping foundation. I kind of store them all in here because they fit. Then here I have all my primers. Here I have more foundations. Here I just started a small little slot for like these miniature little palettes. I think I have more laying around somewhere. I just still don't have time to get to it. Then here, I just started another slot. I really like the packaging of these lipsticks. I didn't throw them away, so I just kept them in their packaging, but I started a little slot for them too. Here is some more like skincare stuff. Okay, so I also have a bunch of like tanning stuff and body creams, and here I have all my Smashbox lipsticks. I started storing my Smashbox lipsticks separately just because I feel like I get so much Smashbox lipsticks and I just kind of wanted them all on their own and I use them a lot more than other lipsticks so I just kind of wanted them to have their own little space. But yeah this is my closet where I keep most of my makeup. I just love that when I'm filming I kind of get out everything I need from here. I just close it all up and it doesn't look like a big mess. Everything is just kept away away from everything and just cleaned up. It just looks really organized so I kind of use that for that. So another really cool thing what I like about this closet and eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that white thing. And you can order more of these like metal like drawers that slide out and you can install more. So what I eventually want to do is as I keep collecting more makeup, I want to take out that whiteboard and install more of these. So I have it going up pretty high to a certain level and then I'll install the white one up top to store other stuff. But that's kind of what I have for now, which honestly works really great for me i just love that i can push everything back in close it and everything just looks clean and put away all right so i want to close this up um so next to my closet i have this like shelf thing and as you guys can tell i have more of these plastic storage bins so this is more of skincare this is actually mostly old skincare but like perfume there but um yeah i just kept this for skincare here I have like these little mini trays and basically here I have lip liners, here I have more like eyeliners, here I have like cream shadows like on the sticks, here I have all my brow stuff, more brow stuff. This is just extra brushes that I don't really use that I put aside. Down here it's kind of like tools, I have like tape for liner but normally I haven't been really using this because I've been freehanding everything but then I have like tweezers, little scissors to cut my eyelashes, sharpeners, beauty blenders, curlers. So I have another one for eyelashes. This is kind of empty, but I'll probably keep it for eyelashes too because there's times where I really fill up on lashes really quick. I don't know where else to put them, but then they kind of go away quickly just because I use them a lot. So this is like a plastic makeup organizer holder. I don't use this to store my makeup, but I do use this for filming. So I put this on a little table and I organize all my makeup that I use for my videos when I'm filming in here so I can kind of see everything instead of laying it all out on the table it just becomes a mess this kind of keeps it still clean and just so I see everything so I really like that and I just kind of keep it aside and then lastly I have this bin full of brushes that I don't put out all my brushes just because I feel like that what's up there is plenty enough for it to be on the table. This just, I feel like if I put out all my brushes, it looks like a huge clutter. So I just put this aside. Normally clean, um, keep some of these brushes mostly clean. So if I do a client's makeup um, and I have to like travel for it, I just take a bunch of these and like, you know, take them with me. But mostly I just keep these aside. And if I do need extra clean brushes, I know where to get them. Extra chairs for filming. My light 
setup. We'll, t we'll get into that soon. In this corner, I have a bunch of makeup here that I set aside for giveaways. So I already filled up one bin. Guys, I freaking love these. These are so nice. <laughs> Even though they're cheap, they work. Okay, and then here's another big plastic bin I got. This is also from the storage container. These are all, this thing is so heavy. I feel if I really pull it out, it will fall to the ground. But these are all my eyeshadow, contour palettes, whatever, glow kits, you name it. Everything's in here. Uh, so that's that. Here I have just like eyelash glue, um, disposable stuff. You know, this is all my setting sprays. And then I have little pins because I pin up my backdrops. Brow stencils, but I don't really use those anymore since I got my brows done. But that's basically it. And then in there I have all my hair equipment. So like my bleach, toners, all that in there. Um, that's a little table I take out when I film. So basically what I do is I use this whole wall as my backdrop because a lot of people have been asking me like, what do you use for your backdrop? So yeah, I use this whole wall as my backdrop. I take out all my lights. So those big soft boxes I put on the sides, the ring light I put furthest back. Um, I kind of started to play around with more with the lighting to see what's more flattering and better looking. The camera is on a separate tripod and so I put it way in front of the ring light so it doesn't wash out my face, the lights. And then I have, it's really funny, so I found, I used to be a violin player and I used to, I have this thing that would hold my like books when I would play violin. When you play an instrument, you have to look at the notes, so you have to have the book standing somewhere. So I use that little thing to hold my laptop because my laptop is connected to my camera. So when I'm filming, I use my laptop as my monitor to like see myself and everything and control all the settings on my camera. So I use that to hold my laptop. And honestly, it just makes everything so much more comfortable because I used to use like this, all these bunch of tables in front of me and it would just be such a clutter and it would be so annoying. So now I just use that and it's just so much more convenient. But yeah, that's basically it. I kind of covered everything. I will also insert a clip on how I spray painted the mason jars. They're super easy. The spray paints were like $3 each. So honestly, it's so affordable to kind of um, make it look somewhat like neater which um, it definitely does. It makes it look a lot more classier. Also, I'll provide all the details down below on where I got my little storage plastic boxes. Like I said, I got them at Walmart. They're so cheap there. I feel like other places are not gonna be as cheap. Also, a lot of people always ask me what camera I use for filming my makeup videos. So I use a Canon Mark III 5D camera. Um, what lens? Hold on. For my lens, I use a 24 through 105 millimeter. I am planning on getting a new one um, just because this one has a high aperture and I need something that's a little bit lower. That's kind of basically it. Oh, and for the lights, for the soft boxes, I got them, I believe, off of Amazon or eBay. I just ordered them. It doesn't really matter. Mm, I think that's kind of it. Um, if I did miss anything, please don't hesitate to ask down below. All right, I'm gonna quit yapping and insert the clip on how I did the whole spray painting job on all these mason jars. So I am currently in the process of spray painting these mason jars and as you guys can tell one of them is red and the other ones are like gold slash rose gold. That's the color it's supposed to be. I wanted to get another rose gold but it was way too like coppery looking and I didn't really like that. But I mean so far I'm really liking how this color is turning out. I did not want to do white because I mean when we do makeup like the brushes and the dust from the makeup brushes is gonna fall on them they're probably gonna get dirty really quick so i did not want that oh so you guys probably noticed one of them is red and 
So I was gonna buy like a clear gloss type thing, like a sealer and primer. Apparently it's red for some reason, and I guess I got the wrong one. But I'm still gonna try to spray over the red with the rose gold. So maybe it'll turn out better and it'll hold better, so we'll see. I did the other two um, without a sealer or anything, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the other big two ones, let them dry a little bit. It is kind of chilly, so I'm probably gonna finish this up let them dry and close the garage so it's a little bit more like a room temperature because they're supposed to dry in room temperature i've never done this before so i'm kind of experimenting it on my own but this will be for my makeup brushes and i think they dry within like four hours or so to like like fully fully dry so we'll see um i might even grab like a blow dryer and start blow drying them. <laughs> you know that's what we just do so okay i am back so I tried spraying that red mason jar with the gold or the rose gold, whatever. And I feel like I like it so much better with the red underneath. I wish I waited to do that to all the other ones. But I'll show you kind of how it looks and the difference of it. So that's the one with the red underneath and it looks more rose gold. This one looks more like red, I mean gold. That's so freaking weird. So I guess the red... If it does work as a primer, it makes it look a lot better. I feel like it does, so I'm probably just gonna have to do that to the other one. You guys, spray painting is so much fun. Like, I wish I did this more often. I wish I thought of this a lot earlier, too. Okay, so I'm gonna take that red primer and spray the rest of them red and then gold. So I also wanted to mention another thing about the mason jars that I did make. Um, so when you guys, if you guys are planning on doing a little project like this, I had to kind of learn from my mistakes when I was doing this, but um, make sure you kind of do it in a warm environment, nothing too cold, because I did do it in the garage and I opened the garage and it was really cold and the paint was having a really hard time drying, so it was kind of dripping and making these weird marks on the mason jars. So I had to close the garage and put a little heater next to my work so they would dry better. So make sure you do it in like a room temperature type environment or have like a little heater when you are doing the mason jars. And they do take a while to dry, like four to six hours, so I did have to wait for a really long time. So yesterday it was like a quite a freaking long DIY project that I had to do. I have I don't think I've ever spent a project on something that long before, but I mean, it was definitely worth it. So just a little tip so you guys don't make the same mistake. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this wasn't a really fast tour. If I missed anything, don't hesitate to ask down below. Hopefully I covered everything and hopefully I gave you guys some ideas on how to maybe organize your own makeup rooms. If you guys have any suggestions, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section down below. Tag me in your guys' Instagram pages with any ideas you guys have as well. And thanks again for watching and joining in. If you guys like these kind of videos, like little vlogs and more personalized videos, let me know and I'll think of some more creative videos to do for you guys. Please hit the like button down below if you guys liked this video. Don't forget to comment and please subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.